Hello and welcome to my updated gear guide. This is pretty easy, but some rounds look really close even though they're not whatsoever. So first we start by placing a dart monkey right over here, and we set it on last. And now put a sniper in that middle gear and set it to strong. I also highly recommend keeping auto start on for round 6 which, yeah, I do here, and yeah, keep it on for round 6 because it actually is needed to beat round 7, as you will see in just a moment. And then I just turned it back off for the rest of the run. After round 7, place another sniper in the middle gear, and also set it to strong. After round 9, place another sniper in the middle gear and also set it to strong. After round 11, it's very important that you do it after, because sniper shot timing is very important in the early game, place another sniper right where I do it there, and keep it on first. During round 14, buy Geraldo right next to the Dart Monkey as soon as possible. I'm not sure how important it is to get it before round 14 ends, but I haven't tested it, so... After round 15, place a shooty turret right next to the straight line and set it to last. After round 17, place a shooty turret in the same place, but not because it moved, and then set it to last. Something I don't show, but is very important to do, is to start round 19 as soon as round 18 ends, just to avoid some RNG with snipers. And then buy a druid on the straight line, and give it hard thorns, and then thorn swarm in the middle of the round. And then after round 20, place a glue on the bend. And then after you do that, the next few rounds are pretty much just AFK. And then after round 23, upgrade your sniper that's not on the middle gear to night vision goggles. And then here I got Heart of Oak on my druid, but you don't need to do that until later, so if you don't want to, you don't have to. In the middle of round 25, place a glue after the long wave of regrow yellows and before the purples. Do it in the same spot as before. And then, as soon as possible, upgrade your druid to Druid of the Jungle. And also, don't start round 28 until the gear has fully rotated. This is just to remove a bit of RNG you can get. And over the next few rounds, start upgrading your not on the platform sniper to a shrapnel shot with even faster shooting. You should do that before round 31 starts. I kind of forgot and I took it slow because I forgot. Oh, you see me fixing my mistake of not getting it. The next few rounds are also AFK. After round 34 and before round 35, place a stack of old nails at the end of the track. I'm pretty sure you don't actually need to do this, but I don't know, it might be possible to die. and then upgrade your not-on-the-platform sniper to semi-automatic before round 36. The next few rounds are also just AFK, so chill for a bit. You're doing great so far. Maybe. I don't know. 
Just upgrade your sniper to a full auto rifle before round 40 starts and you should be good for the round. And now place an alchemist as close as possible to the sniper and start giving it stronger stimulant with perishing potions. And now, after you've obtained Stronger Sim, we start saving up for one of the main DPS towers of this entire run, Elite Defender. Kinda underrated in my opinion. You should get it after round 50, with $5 to spare. Nice. And now place a village right next to your elite defender and give it jungle drums and the discount upgrades. And now you buy a super monkey, in the range of the village but not in the range of the alchemist and then start upgrading it to Dark Knight with Plasma Blasts. Make sure to get Dark Knight before Plasma Out of the multiple times I've done this run, this is the only time I've not forgotten to do it. Give your Super Monkey a Jerry Fire before round 59 starts. Once you get Dark Knight, start dark shifting it to the same places that I'm doing it. It can be a bit hard to keep up with all of the Dark Knight movements, but shouldn't be too bad. I'm also going to try to not abuse the Dark Knight gear glitch for this entire run. I might do it once or twice, but... uh. and then give it lasers before 63. Don't think it's that important, but yeah, do it anyway. I forgot and it wasn't close at all, but yeah, you should be fine even if you don't do it. I'm gonna be 100% honest, I don't know why I haven't bought plasma or lasers yet, I think I kinda just forgot. So, yeah, start dark shifting it toward the beginning of the track like I'm doing it over here. Okay, finally, I got lasers and plasma. That is... I don't know why I forgot to do it until now. Oh yeah, it's pretty much AFK for a really long time. There actually are a few dark shifts that I do during this AFK time. Oh, I think I just abused the bug right there. Shh. Uh, yeah. Just as long as you can have it in a certain spot by round 75, you should be fine. You want it to be about here for round 75. Before round 76, give your elite defender the sharpening stone. Oh yeah, continue to move your dark knight around just so it can be at the same spot it was during round 75. Very important for the early 80s before you can afford dark champion.
the rounds in the run that look by far the closest are 80 through 84. After that, it's pretty easy. Just these next few rounds, they always look like they're kind of close, but they usually aren't. Except round 84, that sometimes does actually get a bit close. Just keep your Dark Knight right over here for like the entire 80s and you should be fine. Not the entire 80s until you can afford Dark Champion. Ah. Also, the Elite Defender has a major Super Ceramic skill issue, and that is on full display right here, as it can barely kill one before it gets to the Dark Knight. Oh yeah, I completely forgot about round 82. The only part of this round that looks like it might get a little bit close sometimes, maybe, is the fortified BFBs. And it's not even the BFBs that make it far, it's just the ceramics. Because the Elite Defender cannot kill them. Also, if you get really scared for whatever reason, you can use a glue. Three glues, actually, before round 85, to make sure you can still afford Dark Champion by then. Here it is, the legendary round 84. This round, yeah, it looks really close a lot of the time. That's because sometimes it actually is. And the elite defender was placed in such a way so that it could be good just for this round and nothing else. I'm not lying, it was just for this round and nothing else. And after round 84, you should be able to afford Dark Champion. Dark Shift it to the front almost every round, and you should be good for the rest of the run. Dark Champion got buffed in the most recent update, and it's pretty good now. Those OMGs really got melted. <laughs> Do not do what I do here. Do not give your Dark Champion the Chemo Potion. I did it way too early. Geraldo's still level 18. He's supposed to be level 19. Uh, yeah. Oops. Not actually super important. Just do it anyway, okay? Put a Cleansing Foam next to your three middle snipers. I messed up a bit earlier, so I can only give my Camo Potion to the Dark Champion. So yeah, give your Camo Potion to the Dark Champion and Elite Defender, and then give the Elite Defender a Sharpening Stone and force feed it some pickles, and also give it the Fire Demon. Also give a Fire Demon to your Dark Champion, and then move your Dark Champion to the front. Also, for the rest of the run, just try and move your Dark Champion to where I do it, just to consistency. I don't know. You should upgrade your engineer to overclock as soon as possible, so you have it up for 93, but it really doesn't matter. And because I messed up earlier, I give my elite defender the camo potion now, even though I think I should have done it earlier. And for the rest of the run, you're going to keep the dark champion permanently overclocked. It's a tier 4, so it has 100% uptime cool feature, definitely not broken. You could probably do it earlier, but yeah, place a mortar in the range of your discount village, but not in the range of the alchemist, and upgrade it to shattering shells. continue to keep your Dark Champion overclocked permanently. And then before 96, give your Elite Defender a new set of pickles.
don't move your Dark Champion for 97, and micro your Mortar to defortify the BFBs let out by the fortified ZOMGs. Move it back to the front for 98. And then move your Dark Champion to the same spot that I do it. Should be hugging the Elite Defender. Not hugging, but you get what I mean. And then place two Genies and a Spike Factory. And start upgrading that Spike Factory to Spike Storm with bigger stacks. Also, keep your Dark Champion overclocked or you die. And I don't think you would want to die on round 98. If something gets close or really scary for some reason, which it shouldn't, usually, you can use a Maelstrom or two to clean it up. So for round 100, move your Dark Champion to the front as soon as possible, and Spike Storm when your bad turns left. Well, it actually turns up, but it's the bads left, so yeah, Spike Storm it when it turns up, and then Rejuve Potion, Spike Storm, Rejuve Potion, Spike Storm. Move your Dark Champion right next to your Shooty Turret, to the right of it, and overclock it again, even though it's still overclocked, well, it should still be overclocked, and once the bad pops, the DDT should be instantly destroyed, and the ZOMG layer should be killed, and use a Maelstrom or two to clean up. And that's your geared black border. Hopefully you enjoyed, and hope that this helped you. Have a nice rest of your day. A good sign is that those spikes from round 35 have not actually been used and were just sitting there the whole run. I feel bad for the spikes now. <laughs>